Welcome to the second part of my video. In this video, I am going to explain how to handle the Beast software. So let's start with the basics using Beast tool. If you haven't downloaded the software, please watch my previous video. After installing the software, restart the computer. Check if the system environmental variables are set correctly or not. So you can go to the settings, system properties, environment variables, click path. And here you can see the Beagle and Java is already set in the directory. Click OK. Here I will use the data from the examples file given in the software. Data, Darwin Finches, which is in the Nexus format. This is a Nexus format, taxa 16, data type DNA, missing, gap. This is how the file looks. About the software handling, I'll explain it in steps. First step, how to generate XML file using beauty tool in which we'll be setting the parameters. Second step, the XML data will be run in Beast software. Third step, the tree file will be visualized in fig tree. So first step, we are going to convert the Nexus file to XML file in beauty tool. Open beauty tool, click file, import data, example, click the file. It is in Nexus format, 16 taxa, here at the top of the window, there are tabs. For setting the evolutionary model, click site. Here the default is HKY. Others are JC, GTR, TN93. Site heterogeneity model is given. Clock here is given the type of strict clock. And there are operators. MCMC given. This means it provides setting to control the actual running of the beast. Length of chain is given here. It is the number of steps the MCMC will make in the chain before finishing. So the value should be adjusted according to the size of the data. Once everything is set, click generate beast file. Description is given. Continue. Save the file, save, you can close this. So the second step, we're going to run the analysis in Beast software. So open Beast file. Beast file, choose the file, down finches, XML file. And here you can see the Beagle library is required to run Beast. Click Run. This will take some time. So after a long run, at the end, you'll get a result. And I have run previous files here, log OPS trees. So like that, you'll get in this file also, log OPS tree file, which is in the text format. These are the three output files generated from this analysis. This is recorded in the OPS text document. Here you can see, this is Darwin Finch's log. This long run has been saved in this file, in log file. And the end result is saved in OPS. If you open the tree file, which is in the text format, this is how it appears. 
and we will be opening this file in fig tree. So the tree file is generated in the text format and to visualize it, we'll be opening it in the fig tree. Click file, open, and our file is here, darwinfinches.tree. So this is a tree which we're going to visualize. To enlarge it, click taxa, tip labels. You have to click this and increase the size. If you want to color it, you can click here color. So there are different layouts like this. If you want to zoom, you can zoom, expand root length, curvature, increase or decrease, tip shapes, node labels can be given, node shapes, branch lengths, scale bar, scale axis, legend and if you want you can highlight this node and click clad and give colors to it and also you can rotate For rotating, you can click node, you can see it rotates. So that's it about fig tree. This is the third step. So this is how you handle beauty tool, beast software and fig tree. Using this beast software, a lot of things can be done by altering the settings and parameters. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you all.